Ebony Butterfly. I'm your host, Ebony Butterfly. Today I have with my co-host for today. It's Ty Baby. It's Ty Baby. How are you doing, Mr. Allen? Fantastic. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. That's what's up. So today's topic is, um, should we or should we not treat our marriage as a business? As a business. Like, like, should we go into your marriage or should you be functioning in your marriage as, as like, as you function in like a business plan, right? Yeah, business, when you make a plan, then um, it's not as many um, surprises because you're trying to prepare for surprises. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, no, I think, I don't know, I don't, well, you, you know, I sort of have discussed it, so I sort of know what you think, but I think that we should function inside of, of your marriage. As if it's a business. Not as strict, but, you know. Well, marriage is a business. Marriage is a business. That's, that, that's business. number one. If yeah. you get that in your head first, because what you saw your parents do or what you thought they were doing, and maybe you, if you're already married, is winging it. Is winging it. We're winging it, right? Winging so this is, this is your idea of marriage. You meet the girl or guy. Meet him. Fall in love. Marry him have kids, get a house, get a car, um, plan for retirement, uh, 65, get your social security, take care of your grandkids, then die, right? And then, yeah, that's right, true. right, yeah. right. I that, mean, there's, there's, there's some stuff in the middle there. It, it is, a, it, a couple <laughs> of things yeah. I left out, There's right? some things in the middle there, yeah. But, because that's what you've seen them do, but now, if you really look at it, first of all, the man is paying during the dating period. Well, as he should. And then, yeah, I'm not saying he should. Okay, yeah. And then, depending on how much you want to pay for the wedding, that's traditionally what the woman's uh, father pays for, but that's not reality of most marriages any, I've been. Any, any longer. Any longer. Yeah, plus you and I, we had a small awesome. little ceremony and no oh, yeah. wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and actually, and I was just reading, I was reading it some stats. Like most people pay for the wedding, and they're divorced within four years, and they're still, still paying off. Their, they're still paying off their wedding. Don't don't have a big wedding. Yeah, don't have a big <laughs> wedding. Don't have a big wedding. Have no. you, have yourself a little have your little get together of the people who are very important. Yeah, I agree. and and because you know because it's about you and her, yeah. right? Yeah. And then ten years, twenty years later, if y'all want to throw the whole shebang a bang, yeah. Oh, I agree with that, and not everybody, not everybody's going to agree. And they're, with that, but they're I, yeah. not, and yeah. I get it. Yeah, but, but treating treating your marriage as a business, like, do you, so I feel like if you if you treat treated your marriage as a business, I felt like I feel like marriages would be more successful, because if you go into a marriage, it's like you going into a business place. You don't you don't want to fail. You have goals that you want to reach and meet, and you have things that you want to maintain. So, I mean, people might be like, that's a little too stiff and formal, but I think it works. The thing about making a business plan is it takes out the romance. Business, you're in business to make money. Well, yeah, that, I mean, that's true. That is yeah. the end goal. Do you feel like, it, do you feel like, okay, do you, I feel like, like, I, mean, I wouldn't say you treat our marriage like a business, but you, mm -hmm. you make sure that certain things are done inside of our marriage, which yeah. you'd have to do inside of a business. And I don't feel like that takes away the romance. I don't. Well, because I'm not, <laughs> well, because I'm not thinking of our, like if you want to make it in categories and we can make charts and we can make graphs and we can make projections, you know, and we can do that as a, as make as it long a business. As, I'm, as long as I am the top of your charts, graphs, and projections, I feel like that's a good that's a good look. Maybe you're the reason. I'm the reason. I'm the reason. <laughs> Absolutely. You're the reason we're here. Why we're here, what, what, what we're going for. That's what, okay. Good, good. Yeah. So, but you take out some of the, the mysticism of romance, the idea. You know what they tell, you know, this is a little bit off subject, but this always gets me is when they say, um, never go to bed mad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That that's that's somebody that doesn't work. Married. I gotta say, never go to bed mad. <laughs> like, Ooh, never? What? Never? <laughs> How you do that? <laughs> they never go to bed angry. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, that's, that's like some leave it to beaver type yeah. stuff. Like, yeah. who, like, who does? But they slept in separate beds, too. Uh, so. Yeah, so they yeah. gotta sleep by themselves. <laughs> yeah. Like, Easy never, to go to bed, not mad. That, be sleeping by yeah, isn't that the truth? Like, yeah, but that, that never works. 
business, you, it's certain aspects that may make it better, but um, mm -hmm. overall, if you are going to, but then you, how do you get to know your business partner? Well, that, that's, that's really thing, what's like, making it successful. Like, well, so, right. So, but it's like we do due diligence. You know what I mean? If you reevaluate, you know, so if you reevaluate your relationship, that's like a business plan. If you do due diligence to figure out what the what your partner needs and and what and what they're missing and, and how you can provide. I feel you know? like if we had did that in the beginning, we we would have never got married. Well, yeah, no, that's the thing. Is like so, it's not. It's not. You don't treat the your courting your relationship as a business but once you get married especially i feel like especially if you've been you're married saying for, after you get married yeah and especially if you've been married for a a bit of time right you've got to go back and reevaluate some things that, that makes sense yeah that makes sense but for me it, that makes sense are you sure no no I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> when you because when you I, i'd rather for me <laughs> and not and, and not that what you're saying is wrong and probably highly right but I'd rather just keep pushing forward. Like, we're here, what do you want? You want that, all right, you know, then let's try to get that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I sort of feel like, I understand what you're saying, but I, I sort of feel like we should treat it like like it's a business. It's like, it's like we've got to treat it like we want it to succeed, right? You want your business to succeed. Like, I, we want our marriage to succeed. So we've got to do these things. They have these things in place to make it successful. And that's, I think that's more of what, what I mean. But like you said, it's after you've been married. After oh, yeah. you've been married after, yes. for a while. Yeah, and I would say for, I would say for a while. You yes. know what? Then like, you know, well, that you can know be what? smart. After, like, you know, they say you have that seven-year itch, right? So when you're when you're coming up on that seven-year itch type of thing, mm -hmm. so now it might be time to put this business plan, put this marriage plan in place. Put this marriage plan in place. But the, yeah, so like, figure out what we want, what we're trying to, what we're trying to do, how we're trying to succeed in this, and how we can make this be a successful marriage, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Because we want that's that's I mean, especially you've been married seven years. And then you start, and, you and start you, itching. But you know, but you're good about not leaving. You might be itching, but you're good with this is where you want to be. Yeah, yeah. Then um, then it makes sense to. As long as it's working for you, right? As long as it's working for the two of you, right? What? And then well, so you're you're at you're at a point where we you know, and then so as long as it's working, and just maybe if you feel like some things are lacking. So you can like, like, I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to try to make some changes. I'm going to try to implement this. I'm going to try to build. Don't women always yeah. feel like something's lacking? What? I, don't they always what? want something? Well, I, what do you, I don't, well, let me see. Do women always want something? <laughs> I mean, do they deserve something? You know, you know first of all, I don't answer any questions directly. <laughs> <laughs> so I say, <laughs> Your life is a reflection of who you are. You created all this just so you know. Uh, who are you talking to? Yourself? My life's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy when I wake up, happy when I go to sleep. So you are. That's funny. I got a house that's inspiring. I got a wife that's inspiring. My job, making enough money for me. No, yeah. You yeah, know. You're good. My car's run. Yeah. I'm straight. You're straight. I'm working on my health, trying to lose a little weight. Yeah. We good. That's how you, are you working on a marriage plan? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That's like marriage plan. My marriage plan is if I look at your face and you smiling, we good today. We, we're good today. If you ain't smiling, then I might have to come back to that later. You have to come back to that. Like, we'll, try, uh, we'll, we'll reevaluate, right? See where we're at, reevaluate where we need where we need to go. But I do I do think it's important and, and not to be as I mean it's not a business of course and you have to be as strict, but I do feel like it's important that we take our we, we I mean, not that we don't but like we this is serious right and we want to succeed yeah. and we want to be and we want to be here till the end yeah. and so we have to put things in place to make sure that we succeed and it, it's like a business you know you're not just gonna you're not just gonna start a business and be like oh it's, it's gonna be fine right mm. with with the business right but with a person mm -hmm. It's a decision, like like in a business. Well, it, or actually, I'm just actually going to prove your point. 
is that in a business you have to decide when it's time to get out right like yeah. like yeah. we're failing miserably um this is not what i'm good at that i didn't plan properly but sometimes you just got to keep pushing forward and you can get through that hump uh -huh. but i would say that making the decision that this is where i'm going to be regardless that might be old school thinking but I like old school. You like old school. You definitely like old school. Things. I like old school. I like stuff yeah. from the 70s. I like, like, look, no matter what. I mean, it, don't get me wrong. Now, of course, there's ex there there's all exception to the rule. Mm -hmm. But no matter what, I'm here. Right. Whether it's up, down, high, low, hot or cold, good or bad, I'm down. I'm here. Yeah. And so we're going to, while you're here, yeah. we're going to work on this like it's a business and help it succeed. But, honey. That's the end of this topic today. Uh oh. So yeah, we're, we're done. Time's up. Time's up. Oh, yeah. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And also remember to raise, raise your, your vibrations. Your vibrations. Bye. Adios.